Hey guys, thank you for joining me and welcome back for another Raid Shadow Legends tutorial. One thing I want to mention really quickly is that going forward, I'm going to be keeping this channel facts only, nothing about my personal beliefs or opinions. I want to make sure to help you guys as much as possible. Today's topic is leveling food and how you can do that efficiently. Farming food and creating your next level 60 is incredibly important for your account progression, but it's also very important for these champion training tournaments and events that we get quite frequently. These are a huge part of the game and especially important in fusion events as they always have that one main one running throughout the length of the fusion like the one that you see starting tomorrow. They usually cap the legendary skill tome at 30,000 points and the epic champion will be somewhere at 20 to 25,000 points so you're gonna have to actually work towards it. It's really hard to do if you don't do specific things for it. One of the first ways is making sure that you prepare food ahead of time. I always have a bunch of 30s, a bunch of 40s, and a bunch of 5 stars ready to go, ready to be ranked up. This allows you to get a jump start on the event, so I usually like to have at least 5 to 10 pieces of 5 star food ready for them. Another thing that's really important to note is that most of this information is geared towards people who are farming brutal without the raid pass and have a double XP banner activated. You really shouldn't be leveling food without one, it's very inefficient, and when you do have the double XP, especially from your weeklies, you should really spend that time and spend the energy building more food for your account. To go through this properly, I wanted to use an example of the champion training tournament we had a few weeks ago, and show you guys how I put up around 2000 points in 5 minutes to get first place. One of the first things you're going to notice that I'm doing is using brews on champions that I'm going to use to rank up. This is very important because as you can see on the screen, for every champion that you feed without leveling them up, you're losing a lot of points because those early levels are extremely easy to get. So what you want to do is either run them through campaign 2-3 to three times or feed them brews to get the maximal potential. Now, I save my brews for this exact reason, I don't want to waste energy on this, but it is to be noted that this is absolutely useless to do if there isn't a training event or tournament active. Another important point that I've noticed a lot of people forget about is that ascending your champions actually gets you points. So save those potions, save those ascensions on champions you don't need, and make sure you use them during the events. You should also never leave a high level champion right before they're about to level up because even feeding them one common can get you points. This is where mystery shards are extremely helpful, not for actually leveling up but because I found that there is an optimal number of brews and one stars you could feed each level of champion to get the best results. So what I found is that it's mostly efficient to just do this with your 4 and 5 stars because you get the most points per level up. And what I found is with 4 stars, 2 brews and 1 common seems to be optimal before you start getting diminishing returns. One thing I like to really make sure of is that when I'm leveling food, I actually level 1 piece of food from each affinity. This is so that I can keep my brew count even and don't run out of magic and force because I'm just farming 12-3. I've found that the optimal way to run level 3s through the campaign is to run them through 12-3 so you get more silver until they're at level 19 and then start running them through 12-6 so that you don't end up with a little bit of leftover XP at the end. This makes sure they're maxed on your last run so that you don't end up with leftover XP and only lose around 500 for the run. Another thing that I found makes my food farming way more efficient is keeping things organized. I actually won't run champions through if they're mismatched levels, it's actually such an easy way to get confused and lose XP. What I'll tend to do is throw in a 4 star or someone that I want to level up. If I have a situation like this where I've used a chicken and kind of broken up leveling things in 3s, but usually keeping everything in 3s is optimal. So in my vault, you'll see I have a bunch of level 25 epics. The reason for this is another great trick to use in these training events is to actually use your brews on champions you do want to level at some point in the future. I've found 6 brews to be 
a good number before again you start to get diminishing returns but six brews on a level four is going to gain you 72 points for each event now for two stars i found out that there's actually no difference whether you run them through 12.3 or 12.6, there's always going to be leftover XP at the end. So what you want to do to optimize this is actually run them through 12.3 for the bonus silver. Then when they hit level 19, switch to normal campaign and run them through 12.6 once. That'll make sure that your last run maxes them out without wasting energy. Getting to a point in the game where you don't have to manually level your 1 stars through campaign will save you a lot of energy. What I like to do with mine is feed them one brew with three more one stars that will max their level and then you can upgrade their rank and use them as two star food. You really don't want to do this if you're earlier to the game because you will run out of mystery shards and you're going to have to come here to the market and buy a bunch of common and uncommon champs. I like to focus on the commons that are at 6,000 and the uncommons that are at 39,000 and 44,000. If you can't afford to waste the silver, run them through Brutal twice and through Normal once to level them out. So back to the last 5 minutes of the tournament, you're going to see here that the second place was pushing, so what I decided to do was start ranking up some of this food. Again, for 4 stars you need to feed them 2 brews with 1 common champion to make sure they hit level 15 which seems to be optimal, and for 5 stars you need to feed them two brews with two common champions to get the same results. You're going to see the key to this whole thing is preparation and that's why I was able to put up so many points in such a little time. All of this needs setting up, it's not just something that you can do. But when done properly, you'll see that each piece of food got me 84 more points which is extremely helpful when you're trying to hit these high numbers in these tournaments. I'm going to speed up the video, but I'll let you guys watch the end of the champion training tournament. If this has really helped you out, guys, please make sure to hit like. Subscribe to the channel because it really helps me out. I really want to get to 2,000 subscribers so I could do some gem giveaways for you guys. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment about where you're using this and if you're going to be using it to fuse the new legendary champion. So as you guys can see here, I managed to hold off his push. He did actually give up with a couple minutes left because he saw for every 50 points he was putting up, I was throwing up another 100 points. When we come to the event here, you can actually see how much points I put up in under 10 minutes. It was 1,580, but you have to remember that I could have still made another 6 star. 10 minutes before this event actually started, I did take Venus to level 60 so that lost me some points but we're looking at about 2200 to 2500 points in a matter of minutes. Now an obvious prerequisite to all this is making sure you have a good farmer. I had someone tell me the other day that it doesn't matter if their farmer farms in 30 seconds because they're not refilling their energy. I don't know about you but if I have to sit there and do something as boring as leveling food I would like to do it with the least amount of time as possible. My Bellor can clear stage 12.3 and 12.6 in approximately 12 seconds. That's not the fastest time. A lot of people can do it faster. 6 seconds is as fast as I've heard. But these are the kind of stats that you want to aim towards for your campaign farmer. Remember, getting from 20 seconds down to 12 seconds will almost cut down the time it takes to make a 6 star by half. Any of the starter champions can really farm Brutal for you. You just need to make sure you build them. Build them as your first level 60. Make sure that you can go through campaign. I can't stress it enough. This is the most important thing to do. If you guys need help with your roster and knowing who to build to 60 to be your farmer, feel free to hit me up. I'm always happy to help. As always guys, thank you so much for joining me. Please make sure to hit like on the video. 
subscribe to the channel, let me know what you thought of the video below, and I'll catch you guys soon. Aeon out.